Hey you guys, it's Gaming Bureau and I'm coming back at you from my Redstone server and today we're going to be talking about a new design on an old machine. It's the Automatic Crop Farm and this design is special because it works all on one button press and wastes no, no bone meal. It is completely regulated to dispense only the proper amount of bone meal and then it harvests the crops all on the same press of one button. So we're going to take a look at it right here. You can see we can plant eight potatoes really fast press any of these buttons and boom potatoes grow and here they come into our chest so of course this is going to work for all of our standard dirt planted crops we can try some wheat seeds give it a button a press doesn't matter which button the buttons are there's just multiple buttons only for the player's convenience you can see we got our seeds and of course we got our eight grown wheat so give carrots a shot I'm just showing you that any one of these buttons will work fine and of course no bone meals wasted because as soon as the crops are fully grown they are harvested and then we're just gonna have a little fun with this take a good look at what's happening you can see the crops are getting planted and then the bone meal is getting dispensed onto them but just after that fourth piece of bone meal comes down the farmland is pistoned pulled down and the crops are forced harvested Meanwhile, the water source blocks to either side of the dirt that is hydrating the four block radius, giving us an eight block width. It flushes out, pushing the harvested crops into the hopper line that is in front of the dirt. And it just helps keep all of our crops always going into our collection chest, which is just run by a simple hopper line in front of the dirt. So this is the exact wiring that we used inside the farm, you guys. Uh, you can see that we can simulate this as our farmland here, and then we can plant some potato. We're not going to put our dispenser over here just for demonstration purposes, but we're going to... This is where... This is our dispenser here. So you can imagine that it's here instead. You can shape this however you want, as long as you use the timings that are in this circuit. And so... We're going to use fireworks for the demonstration. You can see we have a pulse extender, two comparator pulse extender running into a little redstone clock. And you can see we got four firework poles and then one piston drop and we got our potatoes harvested. That's exactly what's happening over here you guys. So you can see these water source blocks are over here keeping the four dirts to either side of them hydrated. And that also means that when the farm gets pulled down, like I said, that the crops are flushed into the hoppers. So we're going to take just one more look at this circuit here. We got six repeaters all on four ticks. We have a redstone clock consisting of two repeaters on one tick each. And we have a two comparator pulse extender. That gives us four poles out of our dispenser and one pole out of our piston. We can take a look at how we did it in the farm here. This is all buried underground here and for the purposes of looking neat. Ooh. So you can see we come down and underneath our buttons is our pulse extender with two comparators. You can see that these four buttons are all connected to just the same redstone line just ease of access just convenient feature then that runs into the pulse extender right there so 
So the pulse extender shoots it through the redstone clock, which you can see comes around, and this is our clock here. And there are two repeaters on it, both on one tick, and then the signal is wrapped around to the back of the farm. And it's actually transported up using a redstone torch tower in this case. So the redstone torch carries the signal up here to this torch where it breaks it off into two paths, one of which goes down the repeater line and the other one goes up to another torch tower into our dispensers. So you can see that we also have the six repeaters here all in four ticks and then this one is carried down underneath the farm into a redstone torch which is holding our pistons powered so that when that signal gets when that torch gets powered it pulls our pistons retracts them I should say so we can see that it all happens on one press of the button boom 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 and then pull And that's it, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this build. Let me know in the comment section below and stay tuned for more.